Hello and welcome to Lightwaves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Workos, model number DL40. This is a professional dive rated flashlight powered by two 26650s. Yes, two 26650s. <laughs> if you're wondering how big those are, they're this big. <laughs> <laughs> little beasts. All right, so let's go ahead, show you the box. I got this off Amazon for a total of $79.99. Yes, a premium flashlight. Um, I like the brand. I've bought three in the past. You've probably seen those reviews. If not, I'll try to put a few in the iCard section for you to check out. Amazing lights, well-made, uh, good value. So this is an amazing light. Let's check it out. So simple box here, yellow and white. You know, I like yellow. <laughs> Thanks for choosing work goals. All right, they give you quite a bit for the money. Let's go ahead and get into here. We'll foam top. Got some directions we'll go over. I think it's multilingual. They give us a charger. Uh, I didn't take it out of the package yet. We'll take a look at that. Some O-rings, looks like. We got a carry lanyard for your dive suit. Okay. We got some spacers, which I'll talk about in a second. And it looks like we got the flashlight in the bottom there. Let's go ahead and grab that. And then we have a foam in the bottom there. Okay, so move that off camera. Uh, let's go ahead and look at things here in order. Um, so those spacers, yeah, those are for using 18650s. So if you don't have these and you wanted to substitute, you can run 18650s by using these spacers. You put the battery in here, it takes up a bit of the slack, and then you put these spacers in the flashlight and you can run to 18650s to power your light. I do like decks. I do try to keep everything standard because a lot of times we use these in our other flashlights and in our radios too. So there we are. The spacers, of course, they give you two since it's powered by two batteries. Next, we have a cord, charging cord. This looks like for the charger because there is no port on the flashlight. The flashlight's dive rated, so they try to eliminate any type of extra ports that water might leak through. So there you go. That lanyard for your suit, it's adjustable. There you go. So you know it's like a tether. You can know you got that on your arm when you get attached to the flashlight. Nice setup. Of course, two large O-rings. Uh, the flashlight segmented in two spots on the body, on the front and on the tail. And it uses two in each position. So it would be nice to get four, but two's okay. Probably just order some more. Just have on hand if you use this quite a bit, especially if you're diving in salt water. All right, next the charger. Yeah, see, I haven't even opened this up. I think it's just a simple, simple little peak charger. If I can get it out of here. Boy, they really got that stuck on there good. <laughs> like I said, first time opening this up. Kind of destroyed that package pretty good, but that's okay. Let's see what it is. Looks like a, here's the rating on the back. Looks like it charges an amp each. That'd be good because those are big batteries. It would take a while if that was a half an amp take 10 hours each, but an amp, that's not bad. So input of two amps, five volts. That's your little USB connector there. And the front, okay, so it does multiple battery sizes. 16340, 18650s, 26650s, and 36650s. Whoa, that's a monster. And there's your little, that's not too bad. Indicator lights, probably red and green. You're done charging. So there it is, not too bad. Get it with the flashlight. And the directions. Let's go ahead and look real quick and get to the flashlight. So this is multilingual. So if I can zoom in on the English section here. Picture the flashlight. We'll go over that information. You can always pause and read that. Some information about the LEDs, which I'll go over. But I figured I would just... Wow, that's really small writing. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can make that out. There you go. I'm just trying to go really quickly. So you have this for posterity. Okay, I think that's it. Let's get to the flashlight. There it is, bubble wrap. There's a lot in this kit for the money. <laughs> Love it. Now, right away you're thinking, Totterbird, that is an everyday carry. No, it is not everyday carry, but it's definitely an everyday household light. And I'll explain in a moment. Let's go over dimensions. Um, we're eight inches long. We have a diameter at the top here at two and three eighths of an inch. So this is 210 millimeters long and 61 millimeters in width. It weighs about 368 grams without the batteries. Not sure what it weighs with the batteries, but it definitely feels like a mini club. 
<laughs> it's it's got some heft to it. But if you can remember, we used to have let's do some size comparison. These in the house. Now you guys probably remember the old Maglite. Yeah, they still sell these, I think. But the LED version. This is the old school incandescent version. This runs on three D cell batteries. <laughs> I even can fit it on camera. So you know, we see this in the house all the time. So yeah, we're we're downsizing <laughs> with the workos. Yeah, it's amazing on the brightness difference too. Holy cow. I know you can get LED replacement bulbs for the mag light, but uh yeah, thought I'd show that to you real quick. Let's go ahead and show you other types of lights here. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit. We'll do a little size and we'll go to the garage with some pictures I took. I can get here. Let's see. Getting up a little higher. It's a big flashlight. We'll go over features of this bad boy too. All right, so size comparison, I have the Workos FC11. I figure I'd bring the whole family of Workos out. Got the Workos Dive Light. This is the um, smaller WK20S. This runs an 18650, same dive rating of 150 meters. Yeah. Magnetic switches, if you notice, the silver switch. Pretty cool setup. And then I got a really fun one. This is the Workos WK30. I love this guy. It's powered by a single 26650. It's a chunky flashlight and has three LED options. Ultraviolet, red, and white. Just amazing light there. Love that light. So it gives you an idea for size. <laughs> it's gonna, that one wants to roll. And then we have that 2650. Give you an idea for size. And then I have the 18650 here. Just going to pop those in there. Just so you can kind of see. All right. We're not going to bother with deck of cards because, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, well, you'll see the deck of cards later for sure. So let's go over features of this light. Let me bring this back on down. All right. This is the best part of the flashlight is the front. <laughs> Loving that. Okay. First, toughened glass lens. Really thick glass. It's some kind of, I don't know what kind of glass that is exactly. They just say it's hardened. I'm guessing, I don't know, tempered maybe. I'm sure there's a whole ring behind that. As you can see, a smooth reflector. And there's four LEDs in there. That's not optical illusion. That's four. <laughs> That's all I think it's maximum output of 5,000 lumens. Yes, I said 5,000. It's amazing. Those are Samsung LH351Ds. They have a 5,000 Kelvin color temperature and a CRI of 90. So a color rendering index of 90. That's pretty amazing for this type of flashlight. Very awesome. So yeah, loving that. <laughs> it gets bright. It gets warm when I'm using it. Um, diving. Okay, so the whole body is made up of the uh, 6061 aerospace grade aluminum. Nice to have. Here we have our magnetic switch. Uh, neat setup because it uses mag a magnet to actuate the switch underneath so there is less intrusion of water, so no spot for water to get through in that spot. There's only two spots where water can intrude on, right here and right here. This body segment comes out. There's two O-rings here and two O-rings here, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, but yeah, four modes for the switch. Switch it on. Of course, I got to take and take the little spacer out, but I'll show you the modes. <coughs> Excuse me, modes. It remembers last general setting. I believe it remembers um, your low, medium, high. It does not remember turbo, I don't think. So let's go ahead and open this up here. Well, the tail, I probably should show you the tail. The tail just has a spot for your lanyard right there. So we'll go ahead and open this up. Double O-ring seal body, like I was talking about. You're going to see that here. A lot of threads. Here we are. Neat thing. There's a little spacer thing. Get that out of there. That's to insulate. Um, these batteries are great. These are the uh, 2650s. They're rated at 5,000. When I charged them and tested them and discharged, I got 5,500 on these. So not bad. These might be 5,500 cells. Um, they're not protected. They're just your basic uh, with a button top. I see no circuitry. Um, the protected cells, though, from Orptronic, these guys are a little bit bigger. Um, they actually, let's see, I can show you that, but they have much difference. They actually fit in this flashlight, and you can run these 5500 protecteds if you want. So if you're if you're nervous about not running protected cells, you can in this flashlight, which is nice. So yeah, glad to show you those batteries. Not bad to get included. Okay, you're paying for those. Okay, let's go ahead and put that tail back on. I'll show you how this works. And we'll go to the garage. Yeah, I'm spending some time with this light, but it deserves it because it is such an amazing light. This is something I'm going to have by my bedside. Um, this is something that you'd have around the house for extreme light when you need it. Um, and I do like having a larger size light uh, to grab instead of like fumbling for a smaller light. It's always nice to have something larger. So actuated, just quick press on. I forgot it's long press off. 
Uh, remember its settings, let's go through them. Okay, there's low, 300 lumens. And of course, we'll go over that with the garage pictures, but you can see this thing gets bright really quick. We'll demo it when we're done with those pictures. So let's set this down. Um, I should go over a few more things. This has the IPX8 rated to 150 meters, so dive rated. Um, this can this is waterproof, so dustproof, waterproof. That's why I like this for an everyday flashlight. You don't have to worry about getting it wet. You can be anywhere outside in the woods, rain, wherever you're at. You do not have to worry about weather. <laughs> That's the key right there. Um, it does have reverse polarity protection. It also has advanced temperature regulation, which starts to dim the light when it hits 50 degrees Celsius. It's a good thing. It has a low voltage warning. The light will flash twice every minute to tell you the batteries are running low. To replace the batteries or recharge the ones that are in there. It's good to know. And uh, I think I covered most everything. I showed you the lanyard point. I showed you the sleeves for running 18650s in there. That's kind of a nice setup. You saw the 4 LED design. <laughs> I just love that. It's a mean look. It's amazing. So let's go ahead, go to the pictures in the garage, and we'll do a quick demo. So in the garage, this is not the best place to test this, and it's the only place I can. Um, I live in a condo type association. If I run around with this flashlight at night, the cops will probably show up. So here I am in the garage, 15 feet away from my garage door on turbo. This is 5,000 lumens. They rated it three and a half hours. And it has a 400 meter throw. Yeah, it lights up everything. It's brighter than the lights, <clears throat> excuse me, in the garage. Absolutely amazing. In the next picture, we're on high. This is 2000 lumens. Now they rated it four hours. So I think that turbo mode to be three and a half hours, it does throttle down, even though I haven't noticed that. It probably will throttle down with that temperature regulation. Um, so with on high, we have 2000 lumens, four hours, and 243 meter throw. Next picture, this is medium. This is 820 lumens. This has a nice run hour of nine hours. <laughs> run hour. <laughs> a run time of nine hours and 157 meter throw. This is a pretty good mode. I actually like this brightness. And then we have a low, which is very usable, of course, at 300 lumens. And this will run, a, run for 28 hours and it has a 93 meter throw. Now there is no lower setting. That's what you get. Let's go back to the table. Yeah, exciting light. I love having this thing. I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, I do have all these other options I can carry or keep around. But uh, yeah, this is this is the bad boy. So let's go ahead. Uh, I got my little cards here. We will demo this light really quick and then uh, do final thoughts on this Workos DL40. Look at the lights here. Let me just turn this on. So there we go. So right now we're on low. This is the 300 lumen setting which will run for 28 hours. Absolutely amazing. I'm pointing it at the ceiling right now. Um, you can see it has a spot. You know, in those pictures you saw that too, it has a, a bright center spot. But the color is neutral. Um, it has a nice rendering index too, even with this intensity. But as we ratchet it up, of course, I'm not going to show it on the table because it'll blind the camera. So we're going to aim it up at the ceiling, and I'm going to go from low to medium. Now medium, we're at 820 lumens. Yeah, that's that uh, 9 hours runtime. It's not bad. Now we're going to go up to high. This is 2,000 lumens. This is four hours, and that's not a bad setup. And, of course, turbo, <laughs> it gets even brighter. Um, this is amazingly bright. Uh, again, three hours and a half. I think it's going to probably throttle down a little bit because it's going to get hot quickly. It has a 400-meter throw. It's absolutely amazing. Let's cycle through the settings here. There you go to get the idea. And I think we're on turbo. If I long press off, turn it back on, it remembers turbo. Okay, so it remembers all settings that you have, whatever setting, whatever, which four you pick. Not bad. Okay, I'm turning this off. Well, maybe on low. There we go. It's getting kind of hot to touch there. All right, let's turn the lights back on. The DL40. Loving this bad boy. All right, turn that off there. So, yeah, you get a lot for your money. You get, of course, a monster flashlight. You get the, let me see if I can color right there. Get the brightness back up. You get the charger, which I think is a nice little feature. You get the little carry lanyard. You get the extra O-rings. The little charging cable here. Set that down there. Just showing the different stuff you get. Um, you get the lanyard. Of course, you get the two 26650s come with it. That's a nice setup. You're already ready to go with the batteries. Um, let's see what else. You got the spacers. So you can run your 18650s, which is, again, a bonus because I, I have a lot of these now. I've been uh, collecting them <laughs> for my XH data radio. 
you know, it's one that uh, D808, I always keep it handy. Here you go. I use these in here. Um, I use button tops, actually. Um, you can use button tops in here, of course. I think you need to, actually. Um, but there you go. And then, um, yeah, I like having that uh, ability to use my batteries from the flashlight into my other devices. It's not a bad thing, since radios aren't powered by these yet. These 26650s. I do like them. Um, the only reason why I buy these flashlights is they have the spacer. Same with this one. Um, this one will run on the 18650 as well. So there we go, the work goes. Now, yeah, definitely your work light compared to the old school mag light. This is from my US Express trucker. Yes, my father was a trucker. So yeah, this is a pretty cool flashlight, three D cell batteries and weak as can be. <laughs> These are fully charged, you know, or full brand new D cells. Yeah, old school. <laughs> yeah, nothing beats that, right? But yeah, look at that. That's that is a beast. We thought we were cool. They actually had a 4D version of this thing. 2D, a 3D, and a 4D cell. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yeah, you guys, some of you security guys probably know about this. Definitely. All right, had to show you. Well, there it is. The Workos DL40. Hope you enjoyed the presentation. Hope it's something you like. I'll have links down below. If you're looking for uh, an expensive flashlight and you want to invest in something, you want to have a hefty flashlight, you want something waterproof, you want some intensity, you want some throw for like a ranch, um, this would be amazing for distance if you're walking, you know, miles. <laughs> this will shoot down the road half a mile. Definitely um, nice to have. And, of course, just that right size. It's not too heavy. Um, it's, again, it's probably lighter than a 2D cell mag light. So it's giving you a heads up. And, of course, rechargeable and quite the long run time for that intensity. So, yeah. Definitely a selling point there. But again, the links will be down below. I'll include links for like maybe a couple of these, like these, the WK30 and maybe the FC11. This is very popular because it's pocket friendly, 18650 light. This is awesome. It has a magnetic base. This one has a ton of modes. Oh, and also recharges on the built in recharger there. Micro, micro USB, I think. Or no, Type C, excuse me. It says Type C. So there it is, the DL40. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a big like if you did. Two, if you like the brand Workos. They make quite a few things. I'm going to try to get some more. Uh, hit subscribe at the bell icon. Maybe check out the playlist. I'll have a little playlist here at the end of Workos flashlights. And three, comment below what you think about owning a dive-rated flashlight as your everyday household flashlight. I think it's fantastic to be waterproof. I like the fact that uh, you don't have to worry about dust or water intrusion. So let me know. Comment below. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.